Hey guys, Ty the RV guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Rockwood Mini Light 2104S. This is one of our most popular floor plans in our Mini Light lines and it brings you a Murphy bed, a uh, queen bed in the front that drops down into place. You'll have a nice kitchen across here, U-shaped dinette in the slide out and a, and a bathroom along the back. So first thing I want to get into right now is just the overall length and weight of this particular trailer. So from pin to bumper, you're looking roughly around that 22 feet and a half, and you're going to be looking at about 4,600 pounds dry. So this is going to be perfect if you have a half ton truck or a large SUV for pulling it down the highway into your campsite. Now, the big thing that we love to talk about with Rockwood is the quality of construction that you get out of this brand. Rockwood is one of the few that do a six-sided vacuum bond construction, so that gives you a full aluminum frame throughout this coach with block foam insulation. Now follow me up to the front here because there's a big important piece that we love to talk about with the new mini lights here on the construction. You have a full fiberglass cap here. Now what this is going to do is wrap up over the front of the trailer and can protect the main roof seal from ever coming apart and allowing water inside your trailer causing delamination. Other little things that you'll notice on the front, they include a power tongue jack for you so it's going to make it very easy to hitch up to the trailer and unhitch when you're at the campsite and you have two 30 pound propane tanks. Generally in a trailer of this size you might even get a single 20 pounder or two 20 pounds but again Rockwood going the next level for you they're going to give you two 30 pound tanks. Um, working our way back here you're going to notice there's lots of storage compartments on this side there's also plenty on the opposite that I will show you too but as you look through the front compartment here they have a little one here and a full pass through which goes underneath the couch there through to the other side. Now little touches that are really cool on the Rockwoods, all your storage doors here are actually assisted with magnets so you don't have those little plastic clips that end up breaking off in the cold and all the locks have been switched around to a Kia like system. So the same lock that actually opens your deadbolt is going to open all your compartments now instead of the small key that every trailer owner has. Um, as you can notice on the outside here, it's got a full power awning and it's an LED light strip too um, that uh, is equipped underneath it. One of the really unique features that Rockwood just started doing in their new trailers is um, you can simply push a button to bring this awning out or you can actually pair your cell phone to your trailer and you download the app and you can actually stretch the awning out, you can bring your slide out, out if you wanted to or even turn the lights on inside your trailer. It's really, really cool. Now, as we work our way across the trailer, of course, you'll see you have this nice big entry door and they give you a, even a couple little features here too. So you'll have what's called the screen shot here. This is an automatic closing screen door. So you never have to worry about the mosquitoes getting in your trailer because you left the door open. And they even give you a little blind inside the door there too. So you can completely block all the light out in here if you're wanting to sleep in after a long night out camping. Um, they also do a full friction hinge on here. So if the wind really does pick up, it's going to hold your door into place. And if it really picks up, they even have a little plastic clip down here so you can lock it into place. Now, a really cool feature too on this door is you have the gas strut assisted moor ride steps. These are awesome because you can simply pick them up with one finger. And like you can see, the steps just go right up inside. So a lot of what you'll see on like older trailers out there or different models is they had those steps that were underneath here. They always get filled with gravel and rusting out and they're very hard to use. Something like this, very simple to set up and put into place. It's actually fixed to the ground so they give you adjustable legs on either side if you're on that uneven uh, turf in your campsite. And of course a large, uh, a large grab handle to get inside there too. Now follow me this way, you'll have a uh, outside TV bracket here with a couple plug-ins underneath it and your cable hookup. Um, and I wanted to touch a little bit on the windows too because they do look a little different from what you've probably seen on other trailers. These are a uh, bonded uh, frameless window. So what that gives you is the actual frame of the window has been bonded into the fiberglass. It's a bottom opening window with deep tint so you can use this in the rain. Plus you don't actually have this exposed seal around the edges so it protects it from UV rays and having those seals crack and wear out over the years. Um, while we're talking about construction on this trailer, I want to talk to you about the suspension system on here too. Rockwood does something very unique and they actually give you a what's called a Dexter uh, rubber ride torsion axle system. This is a complete independent suspension system. When you compare it to a leaf spring suspension system, it's a solid axle which causes a lot of uh, vibrations back into your trailer. 
And this system is actually gonna help reduce that trailer sway factor and absorb those vibrations from passing into your trailer, essentially protecting your trailer over the years of use. And to top it all off, they also give you a uh, Goodyear tire on here instead of just that standard trailer tire that you see on everything else. And they also have a tire pressure monitoring system here. This is really, really cool because it puts a computer system which talks Bluetooth to these tires inside of your truck and it'll tell you the temperature and pressure of your tires real time going down the highway. It's a really cool feature for a trailer this small. Now, like you can see another little touch, they also give you this little prep table here on this, uh, on this bar which comes with the Suburban uh, cast iron cooktop. Now, there's also a power cord, or not a power cord, sorry, a gas line that's included. You simply plug it into the bottom and you have a gas connect just underneath here so this can run right off your main 30 pound tanks. So you're not carrying those little green bottles around with you. Um, as we work our way back to the trailer, I wanted to show you a couple features on the back side and of course where the slide out side is too. One of the things I really like to talk about with Mini Light is for a trailer of 22 feet, this has the largest freshwater capacity out of anything in its category. So the Rockwood Mini Light gives you a 58 gallon freshwater capacity. Um, that's something that you see on large fifth wheels in our industry. So this is great if you're that dry camper that likes to go out into the bush. You're going to have enough water for the whole weekend or even the week that you're out there. Um, one of the things too, while we're talking about the water tanks, this has a full enclosed underbelly with 12 volt heat pads on all of the tanks and they've even put radiant insulation into the floor. So what that's going to allow you to do is you can go out into the early spring or even to the late fall and not be worried about having those tanks freeze up on you. It just extends your camping season that much longer. Now, like you can see here, you have a great ladder for getting up on top of the roof so you can check out the roof seals over the years and make sure everything's top notch. And then just beside that, you'll have a uh, place to actually plug in a backup camera, which we carry here at our parts department. And uh, our parts manager, Denise, will actually help you out with that. So um, just underneath here, you'll have a uh, hot and cold outside shower. This works really great, you know, if you're, uh, you know, have any pets with you and you need to hose them off or the kids are at the beach that day and you got to get the sand off them or if you just want to surprise the neighbors in the morning too. Um, just underneath here, you'll have a two inch receiver. This is awesome for if you need to uh, put a bike rack on here or even just an additional storage rack for say maybe a generator, um, you know, firewood and things like that. Carries up to 300 pounds on that hitch and it's perfect, it comes right from the factory. You don't have to worry about getting one installed. Follow me around this way. Uh, of course you have your hot water tank here and this is gonna be where your power cord is along with your full docking station. So this docking station is really, really cool. It gives you your fresh water connection there. It also gives you your black tank flush in the top and in the far right corner, you'll have a quick antifreeze inlet. Now for, you, for those who are not familiar with what a black tank flush is, this is something that you can simply hook a garden hose up and it's gonna completely soak out the inside of your sewer tank. And it keeps those dipsticks in there clean so you're getting an accurate reading. Plus when you go to flush the toilet, you're not getting that breath of fresh air. Now, right beside it, like I mentioned, the antifreeze hookup. This is a great feature because you can simply set the jug of antifreeze down when it's winterizing time, hook that up to this system, and flush out your lines after you've, of course, turned the valves. And we'll help you with that here too, and we'll show you how it all works. Now, like I was mentioning before, with Rockwood and going into their construction on the aluminum framing, one of the things you'll see throughout the industry while you're looking at trailers like this is if you come up to the slide out, you can push on the wall, and it gives you kind of that flexy, poppy feel. That's not something you necessarily want to see in a trailer. And the nice thing with Rockwood, it's a solid wall throughout. So they do that on all their exterior walls, all their slide out walls, and even into the rear slide out wall. Now follow me over this way because there is a lot of extra storage on the back of this slide out here. Um, for an example, this stretches right underneath that big U-shaped dinette. And one of the things I show everybody when you're looking at a mini light is you'll actually notice there's some aluminum framing in here. Rockwood is one of the only brands in the industry that will actually go into detail on aluminum framing for their interior of the coach too. So this keeps it just that much lighter, that much stronger, so it's built to last. On this far side, this is a nice tall compartment. Most manufacturers would say, eh, let's not put something here, but with Rockwood, they're going that one extra step for you. So they're actually gonna utilize this space and it works great for say maybe golf bags or anything like that, you know, tall camp chairs, you name it. Following around the front now, let's, uh, let's have a look at the inside and we'll talk about some of the really cool features in there. <clears throat> so
So as you make your way inside the, uh, the Rockwood Mini Light here, first thing that you'll notice is you come in and it's a great big open space. So in a 22 foot trailer to have this much space in here, it's all dedicated to that slide and this Murphy bed. This is really cool because it allows you now with this Murphy bed to have a full walk around queen bed, a U-shaped dinette and a couch all in 22 feet. So you have tons of space in here. Now let's show you how this Murphy bed works. It's very simple. There's a couple of cool features with this couch too, which we'll show you after we get it set up. But simple as this, you lift up on the couch, it's gonna fold the couch flat, and then we simply just grab the handle here and the mattress is gonna come down into place. Now the big thing that we talk about here with a Rockwood Murphy bed is when you start comparing it to others in the industry, you're gonna see what's called a split mattress or there's actually no bed frame, so it just sits on that, uh, that couch, eventually damaging your couch and it's a very uncomfortable sleep because it's bouncy, but Rockwood actually gives you a full in bed frame. They give you a full solid queen mattress and to top it all off, it's a heated mattress too. So they've covered every component here. Packing it away is super simple also. You just release the lock, lift up on the mattress, and it goes right back into place. When you, with the couch now, it's again a very simple thing. You lift it up here, and like you can see, you can access that pass-through storage compartment from inside the trailer now too. And then it's a simple close. Now, once we have this couch set up into place, this is a really cool feature. It's actually got a reclining feature, so you can simply hit that button. These legs are gonna pop out for you, nice and simple, and away you go. <clears throat> now, as you look around this bedroom area too, you notice there's actually lots of closet space on either side. <clears throat> These are both hanging wardrobes, and you'll have some drawers underneath it there. And they also give you a 12 volt charging station right beside the bed. This works great if you're not hooked up to power because you still have a place to maybe charge those phones, tablets, or if you even have a CPAP machine, you can run it right off of the batteries on the trailer. Now, as we work our way over into the sitting area, what you're gonna have is again that U-shaped dinette, but little touches again here. You'll have all that overhead cabinetry, which sometimes you don't see throughout the, uh, the other brands there. You have drawers on either side here. Lots of times it's either nothing or they just put a small cabinet there and you have to lift up the cushions. This is fully accessible. And then of course, right beside it, another big pantry. So hanging bar in the top, it's all adjustable shelving in here so you can really make it your own kind of storage. And the one thing I touch um, with every client inside of Rockwood here is just the craftsmanship. So this is actually a solid wood door. It's not that cheap paperboard kind of stuff that always starts coming apart. It doesn't go like, you know, like slamming and vi like vibrating when you open it up. And it's even got hidden hinges on the inside here too, just like you might have at home. Um, other little touches too, like you'll see with the cabinets, they have all solid wood drawer fronts. It's all ball bearing extension drawer glides. For example, if you look here, you can simply open it like that. And it's all plywood on the interior here. So you can see it's high quality craftsmanship that goes into a rock with the fit and finish is second to none. Um, while we're here looking at the kitchen, you'll have a solid surface countertop. So again, it's not that uh, plastic membrane or a cheaper T mold. They give you a little countertop extension here and you'll have a recessed uh, you'll have a recessed sink here and it's a stainless sink and it's a split sink. So, and of course with a high faucet. Right beside that now, you're gonna have a 22 inch oven and of course a three burner cooktop. And they put those nice little lights in there too to really clean the look up inside this trailer. Um, so this is gonna be perfect. The 22 inch oven is one of the largest that you can actually get inside of a trailer. Um, so we love to talk about it. And they even like the little touches like the knife block up in the top there. Um, you'll notice all the blinds in here too. They're all a pleated nightshade. So you can kind of see when you start putting all these little things together, Rockwood really gives you a ton of value. Um, one of the things also that we'd love to talk about is the air conditioning inside this coach. This has a 13 and a half thousand BTU air conditioner. So essentially it's also ducted too. So in a small trailer like this, generally you just see a single like low hanging unit. This is a low profile full ducted unit. You're gonna have awesome air conditioning in here. Same thing with the heat. It's fully ducted and it's actually a 35,000 BTU furnace. That's the same size as you'll see in some of our larger fifth wheels. So you're capable of cooling this trailer down immensely and heating it up in that cooler weather. 
Now, I just want to turn you around and show you the fridge here before we check out the bathroom. Um, one of the really cool things that Rockwood also gives you, instead of that standard six cubic foot fridge in a trailer this size, they bump it up to an eight. So, you have tons of fridge space in here. It's again, like I mentioned, gas electric. So you can run this either when the trailer's plugged in or off of propane. And it's got a nice big freezer right up above there too. And right beside it, another pantry. So again, the amount of storage that you get out of this small trailer is absolutely incredible. This is all adjustable shelving again in there with a hanging bar. And then even down underneath it, they give you a little access port to a couple cool little features. So for an example, this trailer has a water purification system built into it with an interchangeable filter. Not something you see in a whole lot of trailers of this size. Now, let's check out the bathroom. So, when you walk into the Rockwood bathroom here, you're always going to see a three-piece setup. So you'll have a sink, you're going to have a shower, uh, which is a nice corner glass shower, and of course a foot flush toilet, and they even give you more storage again. I can't stress enough the amount of storage in this small little trailer. One of the cool features now that you're looking inside the shower there is this has a shower miser system. So that little stainless steel valve that you're seeing um, is actually a circulating valve that circulates the water back into the hot water tank, which allows you to save water while you're heating up that hot water tank. It's a great feature. Um, like you can see that nice big cabinet there for all your linens. Um, and just above that, you'll have a max air fan and that's a 12 volt fan. So it really helps cool down this trailer, especially if you don't have the opportunity to turn the air conditioner on. Now that pretty much wraps up the 2104 here. There's maybe some stuff that I missed, but don't be afraid to give us a call and ask, or even come in and see it here. Uh, make sure you definitely give us a call and ask about the new pricing that we have on here for our virtual RV show. Um, once again, I'm Ty the RV Guy with Rangeland RV. Thanks again for watching. Happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here with Rangeland RV and behind me is the all new 2021 Rockwood Mini Light 2205. This floor plan features a beautiful front walk around queen bed, a couch on the slide out and a bathroom in the back. Now first I want to talk a little bit about the lengths and the weight of this trailer. From pin to bumper you're looking at about 23 feet and 10 inches long and it weighs roughly around 4,600 pounds. This is going to make it great if you have a half ton truck or even a larger SUV for towing. Now let's get into a little bit of the construction on Rockwood because they do a fabulous job putting these trailers together. Now, Rockwood is a complete six-sided vacuum bonded trailer, which is aluminum framed and block foam insulated. It's gonna give you the lightest but most strongest construction that you can get out of a trailer in our industry. Um, the, uh, the trailer's also equipped with an enclosed underbelly that is insulated and it even has 12 volt heat pads on all of your tanks. So if you want to go into the early season or late season camping, you're set to do so. It's also backed with a 3500 BTU furnace. So you're gonna be able to take this trailer again out into those earlier late season camping. It's got the same size of furnace that you'll see in some of our larger fifth wheels. Um, let's go up to the front now and have a look at a couple of the features here. So starting you out on the, uh, the hitch of the trailer, you have a power tongue jack and two 30 pound propane tanks. Generally on a trailer of this size, you're gonna see two 20 pounds, but now with the 30s, you're gonna be able to go out and camp for much longer. Um, looking at the front of this trailer too, you have what's called a fiberglass molded cap. This is great because it protects that main roof seal from ever separating causing water damage and delamination which is very common throughout the industry on a fiberglass trailer. Now as you work your way through with me here, you'll notice you have a massive pass-through storage compartment. Now what Rockwood does a little different is they actually do what's called a drop frame in this trailer. So you'll notice the interior height of the storage compartment is incredibly tall and that's because Rockwood's actually dropped that frame lower to again give you that more, much more storage in the front here. As we work our way across, you're gonna see you have a full power awning with an LED light strip here. And then even behind me, 
A nice little touch that Rockwood does is they give you a little prep table here with a grill to go on top. So it's just gonna complete that outside camping experience for you. Looking again into a bit of the construction with Rockwood, you'll have the suspension system here. Very unique. It's actually an independent rubber ride suspension. And what that's gonna allow you to do is with that independence, it, in, it eliminates that trailer sway factor or helps with, with it, I should say. Plus, they even give you a Goodyear tire on here. So it's not just that standard uh, tr cheap tire that you usually see throughout the industry on trailers. To top it all off, you'll even have a tire pressure monitoring system here. So that's gonna allow you to see the temperature and pressure of these tires back to the cab of your truck in real time while you're towing. Let's continue on. So, as you look at the door here, you'll actually have a little screenshot, which is really nice. It helps close that door, that screen door for you automatically. Plus, Rockwood gives you the screen inside the actual window here, along with a friction hinge door and the little clip if the wind really starts to pick up. Now looking at the steps, these are actually an adjustable gas strut assisted more ride step. So what you can do with these is simply pick them up with one finger, they're very, very light, and they'll slide right up inside the trailer. So over the years, you're not gonna start to see your, your steps on your trailer get full of dirt and rust out and hard to use. Plus, if you're ever on some uneven ground, both of the legs on these, on these uh, steps here are adjustable, so you can always get a nice stable entry inside. <clears throat> now, follow me to the back here. I wanna show you a couple features. You'll have a nice ladder to get up on top of your roof, so you can always check out the uh, main roof seals on here. Make sure everything's touched up over the years. <clears throat> and right beside it, you're even prepped for a backup camera. Now, as you work your way down the wall, you'll see you'll actually have a outside hot and cold shower. This works great if you have any pets with you um, or if you really just wanna surprise the neighbors in the morning. <laughs> now, underneath it, you'll have a two inch receiver here that actually has a, a weight of 300 pounds. So this works great um, for a big bike rack or a storage rack on here for bringing a generator, firewood, you name it. It just gives you that much more extra storage. Now, over on my left side here, you'll see your power cord, your hot water tank, and your full docking station. Nice thing with this docking station here is it gives you a black tank flush and it also gives you a quick antifreeze inlet. So black tank flush is great. It's like a big dishwasher for your sewer tank. It's gonna help clean everything out of there so your anodes are nice and clean and you're not getting that breath of fresh air when you flush the toilet. Now, right beside it, this quick antifreeze inlet is gonna make your winterizing so, so much easier because you can simply set the jug on the ground hook the hose up, turn your valves the right way, and of course, just start flushing the lines. Now, with your hot water tank here, this is a six gallon quick recovery hot water tank. So essentially, this is gonna put out 14 gallons per hour, and it's gonna be enough to have a couple showers in the morning or whichever. Um, your slide out here is a nice big slide out, and like again, I was talking about with the construction, this is a six sided vacuum bond. So that aluminum framing and block foam insulation is throughout the entire coach. Same thing with your slide out walls here, the exterior slides, and even into the roof, which makes it very, very unique. Now, let's start heading our way into the inside so I can tell you about a couple of features there. And while we're walking, I wanted to tell you about the fresh water tank on this coach. Rockwood Mini Light gives you a 58 gallon fresh water capacity. That's the largest fresh water capacity that you can find in a trailer of this size. It's actually almost the same size that you'll find on most fifth wheels. So very, very unique. Here, follow me on the inside, guys. We'll have a look around. <clears throat> So first thing you'll notice coming in the door here, you'll have your eight cubic foot gas and electric fridge. Usually standard in this size, you're gonna see a six cubic foot. So again, Rockwood's just giving you that one more. You're gonna have a lot more fridge space in here and of course freezer space too. Right beside that, you'll actually have a little cupboard here with adjustable shelving so you can turn this into a nice closet if you like or of course a pantry. <coughs> Just underneath that, you're gonna have your nice open shoe closet there for you, and beside it, of course, your fuse panel. Now, let's quickly touch on the bathroom while we're here. Coming inside, you'll notice, of course, it's a three-piece bath, so you'll have a full corner glass door shower. You're gonna have your sink basin here, and of course, a foot flush toilet, nice medicine cabinet, and of course, a big, beautiful linen closet in here too. 
Now, while you're in the shower there, I wanted to talk about a really cool feature called the shower miser system. Now, that little silver valve you've seen is actually going to allow you to cycle that hot water through the hot water tank. So while that tank is heating up, you're not wasting that water. And to top it all off in your bathroom here, you have a full max air fan. So this is battery powered. It works great if you need to vent that trailer out on a hot day and you can't turn your air conditioning on. Now, speaking of the air conditioning, in a trailer of 23 feet and 10 inches, you even have a 13 and a half thousand BTU ducted air conditioner in here. Now, of course, the ducting would be overkill for something of this size, but with Rockwood, they're just going to do it anyway because their fit and finish and every feature they give you is absolutely top level. Um, right beside me, this is going to be another great storage spot. Works awesome as a pantry, very, very deep, so you can really pack a lot of stuff in here. And what you'll notice too while you're looking at the cabinetry doors and everything, um, like the, the hinges for an example, these are a European style hidden hinge, so it's just like residential style finish that you would have maybe at home, and it's a solid wood door. So again, we're not seeing that, uh, that cheap paper style wood that comes apart over the years and starts to rattle. It's a very solid in and out on all your cabinets and your drawers too. These are full ball bearing extension drawer glides, solid plywood in each side. So it's uh, it's very, very well appointed and the fit and finish is absolutely top, top notch. Um, looking at your countertops here, you'll actually have a solid surface countertop and you even have a, a dual stainless steel sink. So again, it's gonna give you as much residential comforts that you can have at the campsite that you would have at home. Um, working our way across the kitchen here, you'll have your entertainment unit in the 2205. So this is going to give you a, of course, a spot for your TV and of course your stereo and this awesome 5100 BTU fireplace that works as an electric heater. <clears throat> now your, uh, your entertainment unit here, of course, is a, a HDMI capable, um, it's AM, FM, and Bluetooth, and it's a DVD and CD player for you too. Um, now let's look at the bedroom. So with your bedroom here, you actually have a full walk around queen bed. There is a ton of storage around the, the tops and even underneath this mattress here that I'll show you in a sec. Um, and you even have a 12 volt charging port on the side of the bed, which runs directly to the batteries. So you don't have to be plugged in to use your outlets. Now underneath this bed here, we give this a simple lift. It's actually assisted, assisted with the gas struts and you have some drawers here. Now, one thing I want to talk about again, just going into the beautiful construction out of Rockwood, you can see the aluminum framing inside of this coach now too. Very, very unique. Um, Rockwood is one of the few brands in the industry that will actually give you interior aluminum construction along with the exterior aluminum con in construction. Now, on my right side here, you'll have this beautiful sofa. And one of the new features that Rockwood just did is yes, this will recline, but with these little buttons, you can even adjust the lumbar support in here. So you can really get nice and comfortable in here and, and you know, have a meal, read a book, watch TV, you name it. This uh, table is actually a freestanding table. So you can move it around the trailer, take it outside if you want, or stuff it behind the couch if you want just a lot of open space in here. Now that pretty much wraps up this 2205. Don't be afraid guys to come down to the dealership and have a look at this trailer. You know, give us a call for some early RV show pricing and uh, we'd be happy to, to discuss some options with you here at Rangeland. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm Tyler at uh, rangelandrv.com. Uh, That's my email. Um, but yeah, feel free to come down guys. Thanks again for watching and happy camping.
Hey everyone, Ty the RV Guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Rockwood Mini Light 2506. This floor plan features a beautiful front kitchen. You'll have a nice rear bedroom with a bathroom and of course the U-shaped dinette on the slide. First thing I wanna talk about is a little bit of the length of this trailer and the weight. So this trailer from pin to bumper, you're looking at about 25 feet and 11 inches and you're 5,100 pounds dry. So this is perfect if you have a nice light half ton truck or even a large SUV, you could easily tow this thing down the highway. Now, one of the things I love to talk about with Rockwood is the construction of these trailers. Rockwood is a six sided vacuum bonded construction trailer. So when you start looking at the slide out walls, the roof, every single wall of this trailer, it's completely aluminum frame, block foam insulated, and of course, vacuum bonded. Now, follow me up to the front here. I do wanna show you a couple of features on the outside before we jump in. So, starting up at the front, you'll have this beautiful power tongue jack. This is gonna make it very easy for you to hitch up your trailer to the vehicle. And just behind that, you have two 30 pound propane tanks. Now on a trailer this size, generally what you're gonna see is two 20 pounders. So again, Rockwood stepping up another level, giving you those 30 pound tanks. Now looking back at that construction too, on the front of this trailer, you have a molded fiberglass cap. This is very important because now what it does is it seals up the front of the trailer, covering that main roof seal from ever separating and, and actually eliminating uh, delamination, which is the bubbles in the fiberglass from forming on the front of this trailer. Now, as you can see on the exterior of a Rockwood, they use the frameless bonded windows. These are nice because they're deep tinted, but they also open from the bottom out. So with something like this, you can use them easily in the rain and the seals aren't exposed to UV rays, which will essentially crack them and you're not gonna have to worry about that with this Rockwood here. Um, looking at a little uh, storage compartment up at the front here, it's a great spot to put some of your smaller camping needs. Um, and then as we move our way towards the back, what you'll notice is you have a full power awning here with an LED light strip. So simply you can push a button on this trailer. It's actually gonna extend the awning for you. And one of the new features that Rockwood just introduced is this is actually smartphone capable. So you can actually take a picture of a QR scan code inside your trailer program the app onto your phone and your awning, your lighting, your slide outs can all be operated right from the push of a button on your cell phone. Now, looking at the entry door here, Rockwood gives you a couple cool little touches. For an example, you can see you have the screenshot door handle here, so you can open this up. This screen's actually gonna close on its own for you and they even give you the blind inside the window there so you can completely black the trailer out. Um, they also include the friction hinge on the, uh, the door here too, so you don't have to worry about the little plastic clip, but if that wind does pick up and the actual friction hinge won't hold it, you still have that black clip there, so every, every option is there for you on the door. Um, looking at the steps here, you'll have a gas strut assisted more ride entry step. So this is really nice. You can simply just pick it up with one finger. It goes right up inside the trailer. So it's a lot better than those old steps you used to see that were underneath. They'd get full of gravel, start rusting out. Very, very hard to use. And they're not fixed to the ground like this more ride is. So the cool thing with these more rides is you can actually adjust the legs on either side. So if you're on that uneven ground, you can get a nice stable entry inside of your trailer. Now, as we work our way through the trailer here, you'll notice you have some outside speakers. Of course, there's inside speakers too, and it's actually backed with a uh, AM, FM, Bluetooth capable stereo on the inside there too. Going back to a bit of the construction too on this Rockwood, the suspension system that Minilite uses is very unique. This is an independent rubber ride suspension system. One of your big benefits that you gain out of this is of course the independence compared to a leaf spring which is going to be just a solid axle. So this is going to help eliminate that trailer sway factor that you may find on older trailers or single axle trailers, plus it eliminates vibrations from passing through the suspension inside of your trailer so it's protecting the appliances over the years of use. Now, to top it off too, Rockwood gives you Goodyear name brand tires and they even include a full tire pressure monitoring system. So what it's going to allow you to do is you'll have a computer inside your truck telling you the temperature and pressure of these tires real time when you're going down the highway. That's really cool in a trailer of only 25 feet. Now, as we work our way back, one of the biggest features to the 2506 here is you have a beautiful outside kitchen. So what you'll see, of course, outside fridge here, you'll have a nice storage space up above this pull-out two burner cooktop here, which runs off of propane, and Rockwood supplies the, the, the hose already wired in so that you don't have to hook it up yourself, and it runs right off the 30-pound propane tanks. Now, of course, you're probably asking, where's the sink on this trailer? 
What they do instead is they actually give you an outside sprayer which hooked up to the side here which is hot and cold. This works great if you have those big cast iron frying pans over the fire pit. You can simply just spray it out, throw it back in the trailer, away you go, or simply even just wash your hands. Now there is a little rail on the side of this trailer here too. We don't have it set up currently, but Rockwood right from factory gives you a little prep table and they can actually sit a cast iron cooktop on here for you too. And there's a gas connection just on the underside that you can plug that into to run off your main 30 pound tanks. Follow me around the back of the trailer now and we'll talk a little bit about some features there. So one of the big things that I also like to mention with, uh, with the mini lights here when going into construction, they offer some of the largest tank sizes in this category. So this Rockwood is actually equipped with a 58 gallon freshwater capacity. That's unheard of for a trailer that is 25 feet. This is fifth wheel size water tanks here. So if you wanna go out into you know, the back country and do that boondocking, you can bring enough water with you to survive the whole weekend or even up to a week if you'd like. Um, now, what you'll notice is Rockwood actually puts this really cool pass-through storage compartment, or I shouldn't say pass-through, I guess, but it's as long as a pass-through, and it has a big pull-out tray here, which I'll show you. You simply just drag it out of the track, and this is a great spot for you know, camp chairs, fire pokers, even outside tents, things like that, and you can even see that little prep table that we have here for you. Now, right beside that, you'll have your little uh, hookup station here. So you'll have your fresh water connection, your fresh tank fill, even cable inlets and things like that if you're at a real fancy campsite, and a unique feature for Rockwood, an antifreeze inlet. This is really nice because you can set down that jug of antifreeze when it's winterizing time, hook this directly up to the trailer, turn the valves, and start flushing out the system easy. So. Um, you're pre-wired for a backup camera just above this window here and you have a ladder to get up on top of your trailer too So you can always check out, you know, the roof seals make sure you're keeping up on your maintenance there um, Just makes it that much simpler instead of getting a big ladder out of the shed um, Spare tire of course is on the back and just underneath this bumper here You have a two inch receiver with a 300 pound weight rating so this is gonna work great if you have a big bike carrier or if you even wanna add like a storage rack on the back of here for a generator, firewood, things like that. You're just utilizing as much of the trailer as possible and it comes completely included from the factory. As we work our way around the back corner here, you'll notice your power hookup is here. You have your, one of your four corner jacks here also and you'll see the big slide out. Now, like what I was mentioning before with Rockwood, how this is actually a vacuum bonded trailer, a lot of units that you can go through in our industry, if you go up to the slide, you'll feel a big popping feeling on the side of the wall. That's because it's not that solid wall pressed through the vacuum bond. But with Rockwood, it's solid throughout, even on the exterior and even on the roof. But let's go inside now. We'll have a look at a couple of the cool features in there. <clears throat> So little touches that Rockwood does that's really nice too is of course all your lighting on the exterior is LED so you're not worrying about the incandescent bulbs burning out on you or anything like that. Um, and also talking about some of the construction for if you're a big uh, early season or late season camper, this has a full enclosed underbelly with 12 volt heat pads on all of the tanks and they even do a radiant insulation underneath the floor there. So again, early season, late season camping, no problem. Follow me inside guys and we'll have a, have a look at some of the interior. <clears throat> so first thing you'll notice coming inside this beautiful 2506 is this kitchen. It's one of the largest kitchens for this size category and it gives you this beautiful solid surface countertop L shape throughout the entire kitchen here. And you even have a dual stainless sink with a high rise faucet. So it's really easy to do your dishes and whatnot in here and there's plenty of prep space. All your cabinetry here is actually solid wood cabinets and they're hidden hinge construction too. So just like something you might have at home. Um, you know, Rockwood's fit and finish is about second to none when you start going through their, uh, their trailers. So you'll notice this is all solid wood core. Um, even when we start looking at the drawers here, this is solid wood fronts. You have plywood on the inside and there's even ball bearing drawer glides throughout here too. So it's top notch stuff. You have a 22 inch glass door oven here with a three burner top. So this is one of the largest ovens that you can get in a trailer of this size. You know, it works great even if you wanted to do like a small turkey or something like that. If you're using your trailer out in Thanksgiving, um, make it your own, right? You have all the creature comforts from home right in this trailer. Now, to touch off on the kitchen here, you'll notice right hooked beside it, you'll have your slide out here with your U-shaped dinette. So 
One of the really nice things about the Rockwood U-shaped dinettes, taking this table up and down is very easy. You can simply pull this pin here and it's gonna recess this table down onto these brackets and you pull those cushions over and it makes into a great size bed. Um, plenty of lighting in here, plenty of windows. Even the blinds are actually a nice pleated nightshade. So you're not seeing any of those you know, cheaper uh, tin blinds or anything like that in the trailer. Um, over on my right side here, you'll see you'll have your entertainment unit and your air conditioner. And touching off on the air conditioner here, it's a full 13 and 13,500 BTU air conditioner, which is ducted throughout the trailer. Something of this size, you probably wouldn't need that, but again, with Rockwood, they're giving you every advantage possible inside your trailer. So it's a really nice system to have. Same thing with the furnace in here too. It's fully ducted and it's even a 35,000 BTU furnace. So with something like that, you can see that into like larger fifth wheels and motorhomes and that type of thing. It's gonna be plenty for heating this trailer. Now. Of course, you'll have a 12 volt charging center up above here with some USB inlets. And this is nice because it runs right off the battery. So you don't have to worry about having your trailer plugged in to just use your outlets. Um, of course, right beside it here is your IRV technology um, uh, stereo system. So this is AM and FM. It's Bluetooth, like I mentioned before. And you can even see it's a CD and DVD player for you. And it's all pre-wired right in for where your TV stand would be here. Um, and of course, they give you a nice sound bar too instead of the smaller speakers. Now, just underneath that, you'll even have a fireplace in here. So this is a 51, uh, 5100 BTU electric heater in here. So again, if you're those early season, late season campers, this is another method of heating your trailer up where now you're not even building uh, moisture inside of here. So it's a really nice option to have. And of course, to top off this main area, you'll see your fridge. Now, Rockwood gives you a little bit of a better fridge than normal too, of course. It's an eight cubic foot gas and electric. So this is something where you would standardly see a six in here. Um, Rockwood jumps you up to a nice big eight. And of course you have the four shelves and even on the side, you have these little coat hooks and it's nice to just have those little touches inside your trailer, right? Every little thing makes a big difference and that's one of the things you notice out of a Rockwood is they always give you those little touches. Um, follow me this way, guys. We'll uh, start making our way through the rest of the coach and I wanted to stop at the bathroom here. So um, as you make your way through, um, have a look at this bathroom. You'll notice it's got a beautiful corner glass shower. You have a nice medicine cabinet with a sink basin and of course a foot flush toilet. And behind that, it even has a beautiful large linen closet. So plenty of storage space for all of your bathroom needs like towels, toilet papers, you name it. Um, and again, going into that fit and finish in here, you have a porcelain toilet, which is very unique on a trailer of this size. And now that you're in the shower, you can see a really cool touch that they put in. It's called the shower miser system. So that little silver valve that you've seen there is actually a circulator. Um, it's a circulation valve for your hot water tank. So while you're waiting for that water to heat up, it actually cycles it through instead of wasting it into the gray tank. And of course, the top off of the bathroom, they give you the max air fan in there too, which is completely battery powered. Follow me back this way into the main bedroom here. So. As we work our way back, you'll see there's plenty of uh, storage space here for all your clothes and things like that. It's, a, it's actually a walk around queen bed in here. And of course, another big touch that Rockwood likes to do in their mini lights is this is a heated mattress. So of course, on those cooler nights, it's a nice little way to kind of warm it up in here. Um, underneath, you'll have a lot of storage. They have drawers on this side here too, and a big chest area. One of the things I like to point out too while you're looking at a Rockwood is you'll see the fit and finish of construction here. This is all aluminum framed. This is, you can barely find this in the industry unless you're looking at some real, real high-end motorhomes and that kind of thing. So it's a nice touch that Rockwood does. It gives you that lightweight construction again, but incredibly durable over your wood style construction that you generally see. So that pretty much tops it off inside this 2506 here, guys. This is one of our most popular floor plans for Mini Light. Definitely don't be shy to come down and check it out or give us a call and ask about these awesome pricing that we're getting in for the virtual RV show this year. Again, I'm Ty the RV Guy from Rangeland RV. Thanks again for watching. Happy camping.
Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here, and behind me is the number one selling floor plan out of Rockwood Ultralights line. This is the all new 2021 uh, 2608 BS. This is a great floor plan because it gives you a beautiful front kitchen and a massive slide out in that area too. And then right in the back, you're gonna have a bedroom with the slide out on the bed as well. First thing I wanna jump into is the overall length of this trailer and the weight. So when you start at the pin to the bumper, you're looking at a rough length about 29 uh, feet and nine inches. This is perfect because it keeps you just underneath that 30 foot range. And then when you look at the weight, you're looking at roughly around 67 to 6,800 pounds dry. So that's perfect if you have a lighter half ton truck um, or if, and so on and so forth. Now, one of the big things that we love to talk about with a Rockwood is the style of construction they go into. This is one of the few brands out there that gives you a full six-sided aluminum frame block foam insulated vacuum bond construction. So when I say that, they even have that aluminum framing and block foam insulation up in the, uh, up in the ceiling, in your slide out walls, and it's all completely pressed together in one solid piece. So it's very unique with Rockwood. Underneath the trailer here too, you're gonna have a uh, what's called the Dexter torsion axle system. This is an independent rubberized suspension system, which of course gives you independent suspension, so it helps with trailer sway or uneven road, and it also helps to reduce the vibrations from passing back through the trailer with that rubberized suspension. Now, while we're on the topic of the axles and suspension here, some of the things you will notice is they've actually gone to a Goodyear tire now. So you're not looking at any kind of cheap tire that's put on this trailer. It's a nice Goodyear tire. And they've even gone one step further and they've added in full tire pressure monitoring. So you can actually see inside of your vehicle now the temperature and the pressure of these tires real time going down the highway. Follow me up to the front here. We'll have a look at some other really cool construction features. For an example, like you can see on this ultralight, you have a fiberglass molded cap here. This is very important because now what this is gonna do is cover the main roof seal on the front of the trailer from ever separating and causing water damage. You may have seen some older fiberglass trailers in, the, in uh, going down the road that have those big gross bubbles down the side of the trailer. This is gonna help prevent that on the most susceptible spot of your trailer. Another big cool thing that you get out of this fiberglass cap is this beautiful um, full windshield. And that's actually automotive windshield glass too. So if you do somehow get a rock up that high that chips it, it's always repairable. As we look at the front of the trailer here, you'll notice Rockwood gives you a power tongue jack with a nice light on it. So if you're hooking up in the dark, you can see what you're doing and there's no more cranking requ required. And then just behind that, instead of usually two 20 pound propane tanks, Rockwood always gives you these 30 pound twin tanks. So this is great. You have an extra, um, a, b a bunch of extra propane to go out on the camping trip with you. Um, just behind that, you're also gonna have a spot where you can place dual batteries, or of course we provide you with the single battery here at Rangeland too, but you can do either or. Um, as we work our way down this side here, I wanted to talk about the uh, leveling system on here, or I should say the stabilizing system. This is actually the PS, uh, PSX2 stabilizers. And the nice thing with these is they're full power, but they're also dual motor. So they're a lot stronger. They're gonna last a lot longer than the smaller motors that you may have seen or the single motors on most travel trailers. Um, talking about the exterior here too, you're gonna see a big power awning with the nice LED light strip. And on most of Rockwood's models, you'll notice they stretch them all the way across the trailer. So you have that nice big shaded area or it keeps you out of the rain when you're out camping. Now, again, talking about that construction behind a Rockwood trailer, one of the things you're gonna see here is they use a frameless bonded window. This is really nice because these open up from the bottom so you can use them in the rain, plus the seals are always protected around the edges so it keeps them from weathering and cracking over the years of use with your trailer. Working our way down, you'll also see your door here and this is a twin entrance trailer. So you'll have an entrance into your main area here, plus you'll have a second entrance into your bedroom which is really convenient. Talking about the doors, these actually have a friction hinge built right onto them. You'll even have a little uh, plastic clip down here so if the wind really picks up, you still have a way to grab that door and keep it from moving. The little touches that Rockwood do, uh, do with their trailers are always really cool too. Like you'll notice, they have the little auto-closing screenshot door here so it keeps your screen door closed and they even add in an extra blind inside the door window there too so you can really block out all the light or heat. Um, looking at the steps on here, you'll notice you actually have a gas strut assisted Moride step. 
These are awesome because you can literally pick them up with one finger or they hold themselves in place like this. So they're very easy to use um, and very easy to put away. And they even have adjustable legs on either side. So if you're on that uneven ground, you can always change this around and get a nice stable entry. They simply fold up inside the trailer. So they're completely out of the elements. So they're much nicer than those old steps that you pull out and they always get full of gravel or dirt and things like that or rust out and they're very hard to use. It's definitely a nice must have feature on your trailer. Work on our way back here, Rockwood also gives you the Suburban cast iron cooktop. This is super nice because of course, now you have an additional cooking area outside of your trailer and they even give you a little prep table to go beside it. There is a bracket that holds this for you, um, but with this one, we just have it set up on the table. <clears throat> Now, looking at the back of the trailer here, there is a couple of features too that we'll touch base. You have your outside hot and cold shower here. This works great, especially if you have pets or kids, because of course, if the kids are down at the beach and they're all sandy or something like that, you can spray them off before getting in the trailer. Um, or of course, with pets too, you can make sure they're nice and clean. Follow me around the back side here and we'll have a look at some of the cool features there. So looking at the back side of this 2608, you have a nice ladder to get up on top of your fully walkable roof. And keep in mind, this is that four inch thick vacuum bonded roof. So it goes into that quality construction that Rockwood always gives you. Um, right beside that, you're gonna have a pre-wire for a backup camera. And down at the very bottom here, you'll notice just underneath your bumper, you have a two inch receiver here, which is great if you wanna put an extra storage rack on here or even a bike rack. Now other little details you'll see, you're gonna have um, all LED lights on the exterior so you're not worrying about the incandescent bulbs. And then just above this rear tail light here, you have a docking station. This works great because you have, of course, your city water connection. You even have a black tank flush on here. And for those who aren't familiar with what a black tank flush does, you can hook your trailer up to a garden hose and it completely rinses down the inside of your sewer tank. So it keeps the dipsticks in there nice and clean. Plus you're not getting that smell back inside the trailer once you're done using it. Um, right beside it here, you're also gonna have a quick antifreeze inlet. This is a very handy tool to have on your trailer because when it comes to winterizing time, you can set the jug down on the ground, hook that directly up to your trailer and start flushing lines after you've turned the valves. It's very, very easy to use. And they even give you a little outside work light here if you're working in the dark. As we work our way around, you'll notice you have a uh, detachable power cord here and this is a 50 amp power cord. So you're capable for a dual air conditioner if you like and all different styles of power at the campsite. Um, one of the things I always like to talk about too with a Rockwood, again, going into that quality construction is most trailers you can come up to the sides of the slide outs and push on them and they give you that flex to them. Not with a Rockwood. This is a vacuum bonded slide out. It's a vacuum bonded sidewall too. So it's very well secure. You'll notice it's nice and strong. Follow me around this way and we'll have a look at some of the storage here. <clears throat> so this storage compartment reaches underneath the bed in the back area. Now what you're gonna notice too is there's a lot of aluminum framing in here and that's one unique part that you'll see with Rockwood is even on the interior of the trailer, not just on the exterior walls, they continue to build with that aluminum framing and that helps keep things very light and it um, also keeps it way more structurally sound than a wood material. So it's very cool, you only generally see this in a Rockwood. Other little details you'll notice with this storage door here is it has a uh, full metal slam latch. And this is actually a deadbolt key style slam latch too. So the same key that opens your door is the same key that opens your compartments, keeping things well protected from folks that may have those smaller keys. Um, another little touch on that too is they've even added magnetic door latch uh, holders too. So it saves you from breaking those little plastic ones over the years of use. Now, as we work our way through the rest of the trailer on the outside here, you'll have a nice spot for your dumps, which are also up really high. And while you're down there looking at these, uh, the dumps here, you'll notice the underbelly of the trailer is completely fully enclosed. And what Rockwood does standard at their factory is of course they enclose that underbelly and they insulate it. Plus they add 12 volt heat pads to all of your tanks. That's great if you're an early season camper or a late season camper, because it's not gonna restrict you from going camping in that cooler weather. <clears throat> now on the side here, you have a little switch for a really nice docking light. Um, you'll also see that there's your power jacks there for you, both of which are gonna be for the rear and the front, just located on the side here for your switches. And you're even prepped for a solar panel on the side too, along with on the roof. Let's jump inside and have a look at some of the really cool features that Rockwood offers. 
So first thing that you'll notice coming inside the 2608 here is this massive living room and kitchen space. So starting with the kitchen, Rockwood gives you a standard eight cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. This is awesome because a lot of competitors in this size category only give you a six. So this actually gives you a lot more storage space inside your fridge. And of course you have the separated freezer above also. One thing you may notice inside this fridge here too, is there's actually a little water filter. Um, somewhere inside this trailer, there's actually a water purification system in here, which is very cool. Rockwood always throws that in as a standard feature for you as well. Now beside your fridge, you're gonna see this beautiful Greystone, or sorry, Magic Chef cooktop. Now this is actually a 22 inch oven door here with the glass, so it's one of the largest in the industry. Plus you have a nice three burner cooktop on there and they really clean up the look with these LED dials. It's just really nice finish to it. Um, of course they give you the tempered glass cover up above so you're maximizing that counter space. And just in behind here, you're gonna have a cool little knife block. I love all the little touches that Rockwood does for you. Now, while we're still looking in this kitchen, a couple of things to note is you'll see the countertop in here is actually a solid surface countertop. Now this isn't that plastic press membrane, it's not a T-mold, so over the years this is going to last the entire life of your trailer. It's almost like having granite like you may have at home. Um, right beside that, you're going to have a nice sink cover over top of your dual uh, stainless steel sink here. And it's nice, they give you this little cutting board feature on the one side and they also give you a plate dryer on the other. Um, looking at the faucet, it's a beautiful high-rise, a black stainless steel uh, pull-out spray faucet here. <clears throat> and there's immense amount of counter space like you can see in the 2608. That is one of the biggest features with this floor plan. Um, the amount of cabinets in here is absolutely amazing too. And talking about the cabinets, Rockwood's fit and finish, again, is probably second to none when you start looking at this kind of stuff. This is all real solid wood cabinet doors. They do a hidden hinge style on the inside there. So you know it's very high quality stuff, nice and solid there. Same thing with your drawers, you'll have solid drawer fronts. And then inside these drawers, you actually have plywood sides um, that's completely built all the way around and then full ball bearing extension drawer glides. All of these little details that you gain out of Rockwood really start to add up over the years. Now, as we look over here into the main area, you'll see you have a dinette and a beautiful theater style couch. And with your dinette, this will also break down into an additional bed if you need to. But a little touch that Rockwood does is they actually give you full drawers here with ball bearing extension drawer glides again. Um, so it's a lot nicer than having to lift up that cushion to access this storage here. Plus, it's not just a, a little cabinet door, so it's a much easier space to utilize. Now, as you may notice too, when we're looking at the nice big windows in here, Rockwood also gives you a pull down roller shade now in the new 2021s. So these are very, very nice. They're a slow release shade too. They block out all the lights so you can keep it nice and cool in here or nice and dark if you have guests sleeping. Now, when we look over at the couch here, there's actually some really cool features that they just changed around. So like you can see, the center fold comes down, you have some cup holders here, and then you're also gonna have a USB charger and a plug in there for some cell phones. Other little details that you will notice with this couch is yes, they do recline. There's little pull handles down on the inside. And then just on the side here with these dials, you can actually adjust the lumbar support in this chair. So it's very, very comfortable. Very, very cool too. They got some really nice reading lights in here, which you can either have on blue or they, or sorry, I thought they were just a uh, double light, but it's actually a blue light in here. So it keeps it light, a little bit dimmer. Um, and then of course, just above some extra overhead cabinetry, which sometimes you don't see. Now, looking at your entertainment unit here, you have a spot where you can put a large TV, and of course, everything's already pre-wired in to your IRV technology unit here. This is a DVD, it's a CD player too, um, it's AM, FM radio, it's Bluetooth, it's whatever you need it to be, so it's really nice to have, and they give you the quality sound bar right beside it here too. Just below that, you're gonna have your fireplace here. And this is nice, because it actually puts out about 100, uh, sorry, 5,100 BTUs of electric dry heat. So if you are using your trailer in that early or late season uh, camping seasons, you can actually put out a dry heat inside this trailer instead of building moisture with a propane uh, furnace. Now, just beside that, I did wanna talk about a couple of things here. Right as you walk in the door of this floor plan, you have this really, really nice closet or pantry space. It's kind of make it your own because all the shelving in here is completely adjustable. And then of course, another nice little touch is just below that, you actually have a place where you can put some shoes so you're not leaving them right in front of the door. 
it's again these little details that make a huge difference and that's actually why this is the most popular floor plan through rockwood ultralight follow me back this way we'll have a look at the bathroom before we jump into the bedroom here and i'll let you guys go in there first so first thing you'll notice is that this toilet here, it's a foot flush toilet, but Rockwood again goes one step, uh, one step higher and they actually put a porcelain toilet in here. Of course, you're gonna have a beautiful sink vanity with a medicine cabinet above that and some extra storage underneath there. And then a nice corner glass door shower. One unique thing that you'll notice too about the showers in Rockwood is they add this shower miser system. This is a very cool system which allows you to circulate the water through the hot water tank um, instead of cycling it back into your gray tank and, allow, and wasting water essentially. So it's a really nice feature to have. And of course to top it all off in this bathroom, you have a max air fan above that, which of course is battery powered so it really helps cool that trailer down if you don't necessarily have um, the option of running your air conditioner. Again, some extra little storage in here too. Any little place that Rockwood can give you something, they always do it. That's why we love the brand. Now, as you look into the bedroom here, you have a dual entrance either from the bathroom or from the hallway here. So this bed is on a slide out for you so it really opens up this space here. And like you'll see, there's lots of storage up above. Um, there's even on the sides here, you have a place where if you wanna set down your glasses um, or things like that, um, or if you have a CPAP machine, you can set that beside the bed and they even have a plug-in right beside it for you there too. <clears throat> Underneath this bed, there's actually a lot of storage like we've seen from the outside compartment. And then over in the corner here, you have a tremendous closet. So this is a big hanging wardrobe inside of here for you. And then just down underneath, you have these massive pull-out drawers. Now a couple of things that uh, we did, uh, I wanted to mention before we finish it up here is just actually in the main area there, you have a control panel, which tells you of course how, where all your lights are and that type of thing. But Rockwood added a really cool feature where now you can actually take a picture of a QR scan code on that panel and connect your phone to your trailer. And that's gonna allow you to bring your slide outs in, it's gonna allow you to bring your awnings in, turn your lights on and off. So it's a really, really nice touch to have. This trailer pretty much comes jam packed with every feature that you could possibly need or want out of a travel trailer. But that pretty much wraps up the 2608 here today, guys. If you have any questions, make sure you give us a call at Rangeland, or you can even reach out to me. I'm Tyler. Um, my email is tyler at rangelandrv.com. Again, thanks for watching. Give us a call about our RV show pricing on right now. Thanks again. Happy camping. Hey Ty. Yeah. What's another name for a sleeping bag? Uh, I don't know. A knapsack. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I got a good Made one too. Laugh. Yeah, that was that was good. I got another one too, actually. Um, uh, you know, you're sitting around the campfire cooking hot dogs. You know, it's all fun and games until someone burns their wiener. <laughs> <laughs> What's Tree's favorite drink? Uh, oh, uh, what sap maybe? No. No. Root beer. Root beer. Oh yeah. That's funny. That's a good one. Why do trees have so many friends? Uh, I don't know. Because they always branch out. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey! Oh, hey! hey. Yeah, we're just yeah. sitting in here in this brand new Grand Surveyor, the uh, 272FLS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty nice floor plan, eh? I like it. It's yeah. quite spacious. Yeah, so now that you guys are inside here, let's actually tell them a little bit about this trailer. <laughs> so first thing like you can see we're sitting down here in this big front dinette it's gorgeous you have this nice big front window here um, actually there's windows on either side of us too so you get some good light throughout and of course big windows on either side of the living space here so you got a full 360 view from inside your trailer here yeah um, yeah let's go into a little bit of detail on the, the style of construction that you're gonna get on some of the interior features so for example like you can see up above our head here you have some nice overhead cabinets and in the Grand Surveyor series 
is you see a really nice craftsmanship when you get down to these little things. For an example, this is all solid wood cabinetry here. You'll even have hidden hinge construction for the, uh, the actual hinges there, and they've even added a little gas strut too. So there's a lot of things to talk about, even when it comes down to just these cabinets. Even with the glass in inserts as well. Yeah, the glass you inserts. You don't see that until you get a very high end level. Absolutely, right? yeah. So other little things that you'll notice too when we're working our way around here. Mitch, tell them about this big slide out area. So there's a ton of things going on in this slide out area. Um, it does offer a um, recliner couch, so you can sit there, relax. Um, yeah. If you guys are the type of there we go. Um, campers that love to entertain, this is a great floor plan for you. There's tons of seating accommodations as well as sleeping accommodations. Um, so inside this giant slide here, you are going to have your gas and electric fridge. Um, quite spacious. I think that's an eight cubic foot fridge, am I wrong? Correct. Yeah, that's no, awesome. It's eight cubic foot. Um, and then a lot of people always say, you know, where am I going to put my plates? Where am I going to put? Like, that's the first thing I notice a lot of people. Yeah, like right? all my food They're and everything to too. Everywhere. Look at the amount of storage inside this coach. <clears throat> Yeah, they do a really nice job on the storage in here. Like even when you notice those drawers too, they're all full ball bearing extension drawer glides. Um, you got wood pl uh, plywood on the inside, solid wood fronts too. And it's conveniently placed right across from your kitchen. So when you jump into your kitchen here, you're gonna notice the Grand Surveyor comes with a really nice seamless countertop all the way throughout. And one of the really cool features about this kitchen is yeah, you have all of this great prep space here, but as soon as you jump over into that entertainment side there with the fireplace, this guy actually pops up into a TV. So you hit that button, a little push there, it's gonna start bringing our TV up for us. So you can either have a great picture from outside or a great picture right off of your TV here. And like I mentioned, just underneath that too, you have this beautiful sound bar and of course your fireplace. Now this fireplace is actually a 5100 uh, BTU heater. So it's an electric furnace that puts off a bunch of heat inside this trailer for you. So of course, if you're wanting to go camping in the early spring or late fall, you know, you can easily heat it up in here in like That's 15 right. minutes or something like that. That right? furnace will actually heat up 400 cubic square feet of hot air inside a trailer in under 15 minutes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so anyway, jumping back to the kitchen here, of course, you got this beautiful graystone um, cooktop here. And this has a nice three burner top with the tempered glass cover. You got the blue dials here and a glass front to that oven. And I love the little touches they did in here where you have the ni nice little knife block in behind there. And they even add a place for some cooking utensils. It's such a little detail, but you don't find that in any trailers nowadays. First time ever. Yeah, first time ever. Yeah. It's super, super cool. Um, and then of course, you'll have a nice stainless sink here too. Big tub sink. So a lot of people really like that split style, but I personally love the tub sinks because if you have that big frying pan um, or pot, you can simply put it in here it's very easy to wash and then of course you got the high faucet i'll let mitch take you guys into the bathroom now last thing i was going to say too is you'll notice there's a lot of character and there's no lack of details inside this coach um you do get like even just you know a bottle opener oh yeah right i missed there. that like it's just the little things that they do so well um yeah yeah even down to like the dog dish there you got the countertop extension here that's pretty cool right yeah come on through so inside the bathroom, it's a pass-through bathroom that's going to take you right into the bedroom. However, you do get a stand-up shower. Um, <clears throat> there is a decent amount of size in there so that if you are a bit of a taller person, they do give you that skylight just to allow you for some more head space. But, you know, you don't have to use that anymore for a mop closet or where you're going to put your brooms because you can actually use it for a shower. You do get a foot flush toilet right there. I think that's porcelain um, too, isn't it? It's not... I think it is, yeah. That's it is. A, yeah, yeah, porcelain toilet. It is a porcelain toilet. So there you go. You get your little sink over here and then over here in the vanity, they give you... Look at that, a little garbage can. That's wow. pretty cool. Talk about those details, eh? Yeah, the one thing too that you'll notice too is this medicine cabinet. This is actually really cool once you open that guy up. Toothbrush holder, wow. Yeah, even those little touches, man, they make such a huge difference in a trailer. Um, you know, like even down to the blinds that I was noticing in here, if we reach up underneath, these actually have nice pull down roller shades here too. And they're the slow release shades. So you can just let them go. They go up on their own there. You know what I noticed specifically, Ty, about this is that in most um, bathrooms, number one, you usually don't even have a window. True. But number two, look at how they lifted it up. So it doesn't feel like your window is always down here where a lot of the windows yeah. are in trailers. Yeah. 
right? That's and, awesome. It gives yeah. you more of that, uh, well, and you know, that, that, like a house feeling almost. Like even having like, yeah, and they're allowed to lift that window up really high because you look at the height in here, like I'm six feet tall, Mitch is pretty much the same as six, me, eight. close, right? So, and, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, yeah. but foot. we got tons of height in this trailer, mm -hmm. so it's great. As you come uh, through into the bat, uh, through the bathroom here into the bedroom, you have a lot of space in here. Go ahead, Mitch. Yeah, so you get a uh, north-south uh, bed. This is a full-size uh, queen bed. So it is the exact same size as a residential bed. So you're going to uh, get that extra amount of space. They give you storage right underneath. So you get a, a huge amount of storage, actually, that you can access. And it works on the hydraulic struts just so it's easier to lift up. But the best part, too, is it is it is a, even though it's facing east-west, it is a north-south, technically, so that you can, uh, each person can actually access Either side of the bed. Either side of the bed. Yeah. So that you're not going to have to crawl over your significant other to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, look at the storage on either side too. You got these really nice hanging wardrobes. I should mention, this is actually our first time we've stepped foot in this floor plan. So that's why we're so wowed here, guys. Um, but wow. yeah, like you can see, there's so, like tons of storage on either side. You got these cabinets up above here too. Even like panoramic view in your bedroom. Glass inserts in the bedroom. Yeah. You don't find that stuff in, in a lot of comparables in the market. So no. The detail to this trailer to make you bring all the comforts from home to the campsite is it's just it's incredible in this coach. absolutely let's jump outside and actually have a look at the exterior now yeah so as you work your way through here you're gonna see there's actually a ducted air conditioner in here it's a 13 and a half thousand BTU air conditioner for you too and of course it's a full ducted furnace um, and it runs right off of your uh, your um, What's the word I'm looking for? Thermostat. That's Thermostat. the one. Yeah. <laughs> so. Is it true these are two-inch walls? I, yeah, I believe so, actually. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, Grand Surveyor does go with a two-inch wall. It's actually um, a full aluminum frame trailer, too. So it allows you to have that extra light weight, but you're not compromising any of that you know, structure at all. One of the big things, too, though, now that we're talking about these walls, um, Surveyor likes to use a product which is called Asdell. This yeah. is a super cool product because essentially what it does is it eliminates that wood backing in behind this fiberglass here, guys. And it's actually moisture wicking, so it doesn't allow for as much water damage, or I should yeah. say any water damage. Light. Um, it's lighter weight, it's yeah, adds insulation. Environmentally friendly, which and is the huge thing. Absolutely, right? yeah. So. yeah. Another cool thing that we'll talk about just while we're on the topic of construction here is this trailer actually has a full enclosed and insulated underbelly. Yeah. So what they've also done is they've ducted air from the furnace right down underneath and that actually heats your tanks for you. And I do believe they have heat pads on the Total tanks in here too. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So it's great for that early to late season camping. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, outside kitchen as well, so you're going to get a tiny little sink here that you can fill up. I know a lot of my uh, clients actually have come back and let me know that they actually use it for ice as well for drinks. So it works great either way, however it's you want to cool. use it. You get a little mini outside fridge, so you can put all your snacks there. Um, you do have a outside sprayer, yeah. Outside spray port here, and it is pressurized. So if you want to spray the kids if they're misbehaving, or <laughs> spray grandma for her birthday, you got it. <laughs> um, you do get an outside griddle. These things are awesome. We're talking fettuccine, linguine, bikini, pancakes, eggs, you name it, you can, you're able to cook it on this guy. Yeah, so as we work our way to the back here, guys, the first thing you can avoid on this particular trailer is look at the size of the awning here. Yeah. This trailer, I think, what did we say the weight, uh, the length was on this again? You uh, I didn't think it's... actually tell them the length. <laughs> oh, I didn't. So... Yeah, it's just inside the door there. So we are looking at a length of 31 feet, 8 inches yeah. from hitch to bumper. Yeah, so. And you are weighing in at 6,120 pounds exact dry weight, which is actually a pretty decent weight for even a half ton to Absolutely. Yeah, you could even a trailer of this size to pull it with a half ton, that's incredible. But big thing that I was jumping at there too is like, yeah, for the length of this trailer, you look at the size of this awning, it stretches almost from the very front to the very back and it's got that nice LED light strip. So it really gives you that nice cool look. Plus you have lots of shade. Light up Bluetooth uh, marine grade speakers as well. Absolutely. So super, super sharp. You guys are going to be the talk of the campsite this year with this coach. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. So of course, big pass-through storage here. And I think that's a motion sensor light there too. If you hit the switch there. Um, Oh, it's taped. I, I think it's down the at the factory. bottom here. Yeah, might be. No, it's there. Oh, we there go. go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as we work our way to the back here, let's have a look at some of the cool features there. Um, you're gonna have a ladder on the back, so of course you can get up onto your roof and check out those roof seals every year. And of course, what Surveyor's done on this particular model is they've given us the flip-down travel rack. 
This is awesome. You can simply flip this down, you know, put coolers on here, bikes, kids. I mean, no, probably not your kids, but it carries about 150 pounds worth of weight. <laughs> and with something like that, you know, of course, you're able to bring that much more out to the yeah. camping spot with you. And awesome. of course, with the spare tire still spare on tire. there too. But uh, as, we, as we go through, there's actually a really cool feature on here that I wanted to talk about. Like you can see on this tire cover, it's actually got a go power symbol. Mm -hmm. And with something like that, this trailer's actually been fitted up with a solar panel up on the roof for you. And it's even got that little monitor on the inside. Tell so us what size, Ty. I think this one's got to be 50 watts solar. Okay. 50 watts? That's yeah. a pretty good guess. All right. Uh, another thing, too, um, that they um, do come equipped with is the rough in uh, plumbing for the backup camera in case you did want to save your marriage. Um, that is a good option for like the apartment that can help you out with that. Okay, so let's take you back over to the front here. From the end. Sure. So, actually, let's go to the very front because there's a couple things that absolutely. we did miss there. Um, so, first of all, you've seen you had a big rear storage compartment. Now you're also going to have a storage compartment in here. And again, how Mitch was talking about those little details with a surveyor, one of the things I love to point out with this is they actually give you a small little um, adapter piece for your drill so that you can easily zip down your jacks here. Makes it very convenient for you. you get a little power drill you can buy them for like 20 bucks or something like that on Amazon. Most of us handy guys, Ty, we call that a socket. Oh, right, yeah. right. <laughs> awesome. And then, of course, with the door here, too, you got a nice slam latch there, too, which Correct. is dead. I call it a drill bit, actually. A drill bit, yeah. Oh, there you go. Drill there bit, socket. A magnetic door socket catch. Bit. Socket bit, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> magnetic door catch. Yeah, um, absolutely. Door, right? And then just come on over here. Take a look. You're going to get a power tongue jack, two 20-pound propane tanks. And, of course, if you're buying it from us, we're going to fill them up for you, set you off on the right foot. And last but not least, you do get a battery disconnect. So um, the advantage of that is that you're not going to have to disconnect off that battery every time you go to store it. Ty, tell us about the front cap. Yeah, I was just noticing that. This is really cool too. So when you jump up from the Surveyor Legend to a Grand Surveyor, one of the big additions that you're going to see is this big molded fiberglass cap. Yeah. Big benefits you're gaining with this, guys, is it's covering the main roof seal on your trailer from ever separating and causing that bubble delamination, water damage, whatever you want to call it, on the front side of your trailer, which is most susceptible to that. Now, another thing that you gain too is this big windshield that we've seen in front of that dinette. This is actually automotive grade windshield glass, so if you do have a rock that flies up there and chips it, it's always fillable. Absolutely. Yeah. Or you can 3M it. Yeah, you could do that too. Right. We can offer that here at Rangeland. We can 3M the whole front cap for you. Okay, guys. Hey, before you guys go, tell me one more joke. Good camping joke for the kids. Come Good on. camping Good joke. Tell us more. <laughs> uh, you know, I think my, uh, I think I might have ran out of jokes. I, you're the joke guy. Come on. Oh man. Um, you got nothing. I got nothing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, goodbye. folks. <laughs> but next time I'll have something for you. That about wraps up our uh, presentation of the Grand Surveyor. Um, don't forget to check out our website at rangelandrv.com. We carry the full range of Surveyor product. And if you do have any specific questions, email us. Um, I'm Mitch at rangelandrv.com. This yep. is I'm Tyler, and my email is tyler at rangelinerv.com. Absolutely. Thanks again for watching, guys, and happy camping. Happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Grey Wolf Black Label Edition. This is the 23MK floor plan. Um, first thing we want to jump into here of course is the overall length and weight. So from pin to bumper on the 23MK you're looking at a rough length of about 28 feet from pin to bumper and of course your dry weight on this is about 5,500 pounds. So even if you have that really large SUV or a half ton truck you're going to be able to pull this trailer into any campsite that you like. Now one of the things that we love to talk about with these Black Label Edition trailers here with Grey Wolf is the style of construction. So first thing you'll notice, the exterior of this coach now is a fiberglass exterior. It's a true gel coat too, so it does hold its color a lot longer over the years of use. Another big addition too are these tinted 
bonded frameless windows. So of course being tinted, it's gonna help keep that heat out. It also adds a lot of privacy to your trailer, which is a big upgrade from the uh, standard Grey Wolves. And then of course, these do open from the bottom out too. So if you wanna use them in the rain, you can absolutely do so. As we start looking through the front of the trailer, you'll notice you have this nice big storage compartment here and it is accessible through the bed there. So one of the strategic things that Grey Wolf does at the factory is they put the hot water tank on the opposite side here so you can flip that bed up and easily do your winterizing, no problem at all. Now, while we're talking about this storage compartment too, being it's a black label, you're gonna notice they've added these magnetic, uh, magnetic door catches here. These are great because of course, over the years of use, you're gonna start breaking those plastic ones off and that's not the case with this particular trailer here. On the very front, it may be hard to see because we got some trees in the way, but you'll notice they have that manual, uh, manual tongue jack there. And what you can do is actually flip that handle over and it pops a socket out the top there. So you can simply zip that up and down with a power drill, just like your four corner stable jacks. You also got 20 pound propane tanks on the front there, two of them and enough space for dual batteries if you choose to do so. The reason why we talk about dual batteries on this trailer is it does come with a cool option called the juice pack and what that gives you is a solar panel up on the roof and that comes straight from factory so if you pair yourself up with some dual batteries you're gonna be set to go out dry camping. Now as we work our way through the trailer let's talk about some cool exterior features. For example you have this beautiful power awning here and of course it's got the nice blue LED lighting underneath it and one of the nice things that we love to talk about too with this awning is Grey Wolf just introduced a one control system into their trailer right hooked up to the control panel so what you can do is you can actually pair your cell phone now to your trailer and this awning can be operated right from the push of a button on your mobile device same thing with your slide out and same thing with all your lighting too on the topic of lighting you'll notice along with the blue light up above you'll also have the black label badge here which is backlit with that blue LED looks really cool same thing with your speakers down here. They got that blue LED lighting behind it. Now these speakers have changed over the years. This is a driven audio system now that Grey Wolf has gone with. And that gives you of course the exterior speakers, interior speakers, but they've even added a subwoofer up in the ceiling of this coach. So now you have that premium audio right out at the campsite. Now, right behind me here too, you have what we like to call the mini camp kitchen. This is super, super cool because it gives you your outside fridge. And then of course, the one thing that you always run out of at the campsite is ice. So they've even added an ice maker in here for you too, along with a secondary outside shower. So of course, now you have an easy way to fill up that ice maker or even just wash down the side of your trailer or whatever you need to do. Now, there also is a barbecue quick connect just underneath here too, so if you do wanna complete the full setup of your outside kitchen, you can easily do so. Looking down towards the bottom here, you're also gonna notice on the black label package, they've gone to these really nice black forged rims. So again, on a trailer of this category, you're gonna see usually that basic steely that's really ugly and they start to rust out over the years. Not the case with something like this. Looking at even the little details that you gain out of a Grey Wolf trailer on these rims, what Grey Wolf does, which is really, really cool, is they've added in these little tire pressure monitoring stems. Now, like you can see, when I take that off, it's showing red. When the tire is up to full pressure, it will go green. And the reason why Grey Wolf did this is because the number one cause of accidents by anybody that owns a trailer in our industry is due to low tire pressure and they have a blowout on the side of the highway. This is a full, uh, fail-proof system. You can simply walk around, give your tires a check by just looking at them. Make sure all your doors are nicely tightened up too so you know you're safe going down the highway. As we work our way towards the door here, you'll notice with the black label and even on the standard Cherokees, they have this beautiful black glass door. Really cleans the look up of the trailer too. So you got that nice modern look as you pull into the campsite with your brand new Grey Wolf. Underneath here, you also have the more ride steps. These are a must have feature on your trailer nowadays. If you're looking at anything that doesn't have it, it's probably telling you a lot about how that trailer is put together. So right here, what you can see is they'll actually fold right up inside the trailer for you. And they got adjustable legs on either side so you can get that nice even entrance coming inside your trailer. Saves you from having to worry about the pullout steps that are full of gravel and dirt and rust out and eventually go to crap on you. So as we work our way to the back here, you'll notice you have a beautiful flip down travel rack. This is a great feature to have on your trailer because essentially, usually you pay about a six to $800 extra just to have this, but Grey Wolf gives you it right at the factory. It carries 150 pounds worth of weight with that spare tire still on when you have it flipped down. So if you wanna bring that generator with you, extra firewood, cooler, you name it, you got the space to put it. Follow me around the backside here. As you notice when we're walking around too, all the lighting has changed to LEDs, so you're not seeing any of those incandescent bulbs that always inconveniently burn out on you. 
And then of course, we're walking around the slide out here with the slides too, they've gone to a Schwintech slide system and they've, they've used those for quite a while, but one of the big benefits that you have with this is it's a four corner gear track system. So it brings that slide in and out evenly on all four points. Plus if you ever have a failure, you can bring the slide in in and out three times and it'll actually auto correct itself. It's a really nice system to have much better than maybe a cable slide system you've seen on some other coaches. On my right side here, you have your outside hot and cold shower. So yes, you are correct. This does have two on this trailer. It's really cool. This is a nice feature to have. Of course, right beside it, you have the black tank flush there. And for those who aren't familiar with what that, that does for you, you can hook a garden hose up to this trailer, completely rinses out the inside of that sewer tank. So it keeps the dipsticks in there nice and clean so you get proper readings on your tanks. Plus when you go to flush the toilet, you're not getting that breath of fresh air. Now. Of course, you got a detachable power cord here. Doesn't seem like a huge feature to have, but this really makes a world of difference because on a lot of coaches, you'll have the, that big 30 or 25 foot cord that you got to slam inside your trailer and it makes it a big pain in the butt. Plus, it's a big hole there for mice to get into. With something like this, you don't have to worry about it. As we work our way around the front, I want to tell you about a really cool feature they added on the brand new 2021s. Excuse me. And that one is the full enclosure on their tanks. So what that's gonna do is if you're an early season camper or even a late season camper, it helps keep those tanks nice and warm, plus it protects them from, you know, if you're going down a gravel road and that kind of thing and stuff's flying up, you're not gonna damage your tanks. Follow me inside here and we'll talk about some really cool features too. So first thing you're gonna notice coming inside the 23MK, this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, rear living floor plan. And when I say that, you have a U-shaped dinette on the slide out here, kitchen right across, and a couch at the back. So it's very, very well set up. Now, talking about your slide out here, you, like you can see with this U-shaped dinette, this will make into a great sleeping space if you need to. And then just underneath it, what Cherokee does and Grey Wolf does in all of their trailers is they give you these massive 40 inch dinette drawers. So these stretch right to the very back of the dinette and you're not having to lift this cushion up to access it. On the topic of those drawers too, like you may have seen there, they're all plywood um, when it comes into the sides there too. Um, the exteriors on the fronts are actually a solid wood material. So it's that nice fit and finish you're looking for, which is quite honestly not common common in a trailer of this category. Now, just behind me here, you're gonna see you have this really cool entertainment unit where your TV is gonna sit up above. And then of course, right below that, you even have a 5100 BTU fireplace. So this is great because it's an electric dry heater that'll heat up to about 400 square feet of your trailer within 15 minutes. You don't even have to fire up the furnace to heat this trailer up if you don't want to. On my left side now, we'll talk a little bit about the kitchen. So one of the big things that you get out of going to a black label version in a Grey Wolf here is the solid surface countertop in here. So like you can see, this is actually a solid granite material. And of course, if you put a hot pan or anything like that on here um, or drag a knife across it, you're not gonna hurt it. Of course, you're gonna have a massive tub stainless sink here and it's a black stainless too, so it gives you that nice modern look. And then of course, you got the sprayer faucet and being that we're in COVID times, what they even introduced to you is a little hand sanitizer pump here, which is a nice little addition. Of course, when this all blows over, hopefully you can just use that as a soap pump too. Right on the side, you'll notice, uh, my left side here, you'll notice you have your Greystone um, oven and stove. So this is a three burner cooktop, which also has a nice tempered glass cover to maximize your counter space. And then as you work your way down, you got the blue LED lighting. And of course, you're gonna have this beautiful glass front oven there too. Nice little touch that Grey Wolf introduced this year on their trailers is they have a cutting board in here now. So this is cool because you always usually forget one at home and now it's right inside your trailer. It's actually got magnets on the back side of it too. So what you can do, set it down on top of your stove. It's not gonna move around on you. And then of course, when you're done with it, you can just simply apply it right back to the wall. So you're gonna have a microwave up above that. You're also gonna have a range hood here too, which is really nice. And then of course, right beside us, you have the brand new fridge. This is a 12 volt fridge now too, and it is 10 cubic feet. The reason why it's a lot bigger than what you'd standardly see like a six in here is being that they went to 12 volt, they've actually made it a lot deeper. So one of the big benefits you also gain out of this is it cools down like three or four times faster. So we've had this trailer in here for about 20 minutes. It's actually cold in here already. It's such a nice fridge to have. And of course with that juice pack, it's gonna set you up nice if you wanna go dry camping. If you're going out for long periods of time, we'll end up getting you set up 
up with a bigger solar panel and some extra batteries so we can accommodate you for as long as you want to go out camping. Now, as we look towards the back here, I want to show you a couple things because again, those little fit and finish details make a huge difference in a trailer of this category. For example, you have real wood box valences here. You'll even have uh, little curtains on the side too to help clean up the look. But what Grey Wolf has gone to are these really, really cool zebra blinds. So with something like this, like you can see one finger, they're very, very easy to use. And it's actually a dual day and night shade. So like you can see here, if you set them up like so, you have a day, a, a day shade. And then if you want to close it right off, it actually completely blocks out all that light for you. They're probably one of the best blinds that we've seen in some of these trailers recently. So we love to talk about them. Now I'll turn you guys around and we'll start heading towards the bathroom here. As we come by, this trailer is also going to be equipped with a battery disconnect for you so you're not having to pull those batteries off all the time and there is a voltage meter on here too for your solar setup now as we come into the bathroom one of the things i like to mention there's actually switches on the walls here for your lights so you're not having to reach around and actually turn some lights on and that kind of thing just a nice conveniently uh, conveniently placed there you got a big big closet here which you can also double up as a pantry if you want to and then beside that you got a big glass door shower so like you can see Nice plastic surround here, so you're not worried about damaging the wallpaper. Um, you also have a foot flush toilet inside this trailer, and right up above my head, you'll have a max air fan. So it's nice and easy to vent out all of that hot air inside your trailer without even turning on that air conditioner. You can really cool it down in here. Now, with this door closed, you'll notice they conveniently place a, uh, a medicine cabinet in the corner there to maximize storage and even more storage behind the toilet. It's probably one of the best bathrooms that we've seen for setup on storage if you really like to pack a lot of linens and things like that with you. Now, I'll get you to come into the bedroom here with me now and I'll, we'll finish up with that. So as you come into the bedroom here, first thing you're going to notice, of course, you have lots of cabinet space all the way around here. You have some real deep wardrobes on either side so you can actually hang a shirt in there or a, or a coat or something like that. And then of course, up above, you have these really nice cabinets. And the reason why we stress about having cabinets over top of your bed is a lot of manufacturers just put a shelf in here and you're going down the highway. Next thing you know, you come into your bedroom, things are all over your bed. So this is a way better way to have your storage. Plus there's even storage underneath this mattress. To top it all off, Grey Wolf gives you two USB chargers on the side of this bed here and of course plugins also and then on the opposite side you're going to have again additional plugins and they even have the pre-wire fitting for your Furion um, or whichever uh, stereo system you can apply to that there. So let's head back into the main area here and we'll finish up. So again, luck, like a lot of the little touches that you get out of this brand is really, really cool. Keep in mind, this is a traditional build travel trailer. So these little details start to add up, like having a, a, a skylight in here, you know, having a properly deck, uh, ducted uh, air conditioner on here, because this does have a 13 and a half thousand BTU air conditioner. But you know, guys, if you have any questions, I'm sure I've maybe missed some stuff in here. Don't be shy to give us a call or come down to the dealership and ask some questions. Make sure you give us a call and ask about our RV show uh, pricing on right now. We got some wicked promotions on for this trailer this is one of our most popular couples coaches you got to come and see it thanks again for watching i'm ty the rv guy and happy camping Hi everyone, it's Kyle with Range Island RV and behind me here is the all new 2021 Cherokee 274 WKBL. The BL stands for Black Label Edition, so it does have some upgrades over your traditional Cherokee trailer, which we'll kind of touch on when we're going uh, throughout this uh, tutorial. Starting off, this guy is 33 feet tip to tip and a dry weight of about 7,200 pounds. So it's a little bit heavier with those dual slides in there. We're gonna take some time to check out the floor plan on the inside, go over the construction and some features. 
touching on the construction, this is a 12 inch on center stud. And then with, with the black label edition, you are upgraded to a true high gloss gel coat finish uh, for your fiberglass on the exterior. So you can really see the shine in this. You don't see the fibers of your fiberglass. What that's gonna do is it's not gonna fade over time uh, with the exposure to the sun and it's gonna look great uh, for the entire time that you own this RV. On the front here with the black label edition, you do upgrade to a power tongue jack and they do include two 20 pound propane tanks as well. Something nice Cherokee added this year to their frame is they added these cool little hooks. You have some safety hook chains here so you can put your chains on there. And then on the other side, we're actually using this wrong, but you can plug your seven way um, cord right in there so it's not laying in the mud uh, when you get to your campsite on there as well. Up front here, you have your smooth tin cap up here. You have your rock guard as well protects the front of your trailer when you're towing all the rocks spitting up on there as well on the back side you do have your hot water tank which is electric and propane it's going to give you a fast recovery rate um, so when you're plugged in you don't have to burn through all your pro propane your fresh water connection it is a hydraulic system rack and pinion for your slide outs this is a manual override so for whatever reason if your slide outs fail you're able to access your hydraulic controls through there it's always nice to have an outdoor shower on the back side of your trailer. So if you want to wash your feet off the dog or anything like that, you have that option back here. And this black tank flush um, is plumbed into your black water tank. So all your toilet water, you hook a hose up to here, it sprays out the inside of your tank. It's like a dishwasher for your tank, leaving everything a lot clean. Um, so your anal rods, your sensors and your smells are uh, taken care of on that route. Back side of the trailer has a nice service light right beside your dump station as well. The Cherokee, if you can see, sits really high because it has flipped axles from the manufacturer. So you're going to have tons of clearance on this guy. So you're not going to have to worry about hitting a low point when you're towing. And then if you have a bigger vehicle, it's going to sit nice and level on there. This slide here is your kitchen slide, so it's not a full depth. Um, it is prepped for a slide out topper as well. So if you want to add a slide out topper to this one, it's all plumbed really easy to install. On the back side here, you have a detachable power cord. This is nice, especially on colder weather. Um, you can just unplug the cord, wrap it up, throw it in there. Instead, when it's cold, sometimes the cord gets really stu stiff. So when you're just trying to shove it back into that hole, it's super hard, 25 feet going in there. And then you don't have an extra uninsulated hole in your trailer. On the back side, on all Cherokee travel trailers, you're gonna get a flip down storage rack. Amazing, if you have a generator, firewood, coolers, anything like that, flip that down. It's good for 200 pounds. The spare tire stays on there. Flip it down, put your items on there, and you're set. I have seen people strap some bikes to it, um, but overall, it's just a flat surface. Up top here, you're gonna have your backup camera prepped. So if you wanna add a camera, uh, we sell them in our parts department at Rangeland RV. And it's a Furion backup camera, really easy. Two screws come, it's a plug and play system up there as well. Most of us bring our uh, pets with us camping. Little features like this, it's a nice touch. It's a leash latch, so you can attach your dog there. So when you're at the campsite, because most campsites ask to keep your pets on a leash. Coming to your campsite side, the black label edition, so you're getting that upgraded fiberglass. You're also getting tinted frameless windows. It's a beautiful look. This is what you're gonna see on all your high-end luxury uh, fifth wheels and RVs. But what this does is it protects all your rubber seals from exposure to UV rays. So they're not gonna dry out in the sun. Also, you can open this window because they all tilt out in the rain or at nighttime, you're not gonna lose your privacy. So traditionally you have a slide window, it opens up, people can see in. Your windows are still gonna be tinted while they're open at nighttime. Outside speakers, these you can see have blue LED lights into it. In the daytime like this, you can't get the full effect, but at nighttime, this will really light up your campsite. Bluetooth streaming, you can listen to all your favorite music um, outside at the campsite. Um, you also have your uh, TV bracket as well here if you want to put an outside TV here and some outlets on the outside of the trailer so you can plug in that margarita mixer. On the entrance before we jump in there, um, it does come with the Moride stable steps. Those flip right up into the trailer and out of the way. They just clip into place and you close your door. Again, you don't have the low spot or those black steps that tend to get rusted over time and they're pretty shaky. These are su super sturdy when you're getting in, the, in and out of the trailer. The awning is actually, so you have a full power awning. It's massive. Um, it is an easy tilt system. So if you want to tilt it or change the pitch, you're just going to pull down on this lever here 
and then it's gonna hold that angle. So if it is lightly raining, you can get that uh, drizzle off. It is an auto dump too, so if you get a ton of weight on it, one side will drop down, or if the sun's coming at a different angle. Up front, you do have the black label edition, which it, again is lit up in blue. Uh, but let's jump on the inside and check out the floor plan. So welcome inside the 274 WK BL black label edition. Again, this is a dual slide rear living room uh, floor plan. So with that dual slide, it's gonna really open up the floor space. Um, it's nice for extended stay, maybe longer camping. It is a couple's coach, so it's a non-bunk one, but it can accommodate um, extra sleeping guests as well. I'm gonna start up here in the kitchen area. Another feature you get with the black label edition is gonna be solid surface countertops. So you're going to an LG instead of that pressed membrane. Um, and then your sink covers are that same uh, solid surface. Over here, counter space is so important in a trailer and they're giving you a good chunk with your island and over here beside the stove. So when you're cooking, you can pull those items off. You do have your Furion three burner cooktop with a 17 inch oven below. It has a light in it. And for all those people who've tried to light uh, an RV oven before, this one has an auto sparker inside the oven so you don't have to try to light it and blow your trailer up at the same time. Again, going back to counter space, glass cover on the stove to maximize this whole space if you are doing more of your cooking outside as well. You have all LED lights. You can see the blue lights over the slide out. This is great at nighttime. Leave these lights on. You can still see everything throughout the trailer, but it's not a super bright light. Behind me here is new this year is going to be their 12 volt refrigerator. So this is coming in at just under 11 cubic feet of refrigerator cold storage in here. So the 12 volt frid, fridge is gonna get colder a lot faster than your traditional RV fridge. It is only running off battery power. This guy is equipped the way we ordered him is with a 50 watt solar panel on the roof. But if you're doing a lot of dry camping, you can upgrade that system, put some bigger batteries on and a bigger solar panel on it. But this is gonna get cold super quick. Once it's down to temperature, it's very efficient um, and keeps things cold and uses very little power on that guy. Tons of storage in your kitchen area. Your sink, this year they went to, Cherokee's always trying to be ahead of the trends. So everyone's doing really lighter tones inside. They're going to the matte black stainless steel finish in the sink with the high rise faucet. Again, very residential. And, you know, not to bring in the pandemic at all, but it does have a hand sanitizer or soap dispenser for the long run as well. You can twist a bottle off, fill it off with soap or hand sanitizer to, um, to make sure everything's staying nice and clean. Tons of drawers, You've got six drawers, and then counter space and pantry are things I'm always looking for in floor plans. Nice big pantry on this side here. Again, for longer stays, you're gonna load that up with all your uh, kitchen needs in there. Coming back here, we've got your entertainment area. Again, more storage. <clears throat> Tons of room to put a big TV in here. Uh, the fireplace is an electric source of heat, so flip that on. It's gonna take the crisp out of the air. It's about 5,000 BTU. It's great because you can use the campground's power instead of firing up and using your propane furnace in this guy as well. New this year, they added a subwoofer. So this is a 200 watt subwoofer in the roof here. Again, music is a big part of most people's camping experience as well. So you're gonna be able to get the full experience of music while you guys are out camping. Back here is your couch. This one does fold flat here. It's a trifold, or sorry, not trifold. It's a jackknife. So you just take these two cushions off, just fold them in and it folds flat into additional sleeping storage back here. So if you have any guests, it can accommodate them there. And Cherokee is also doing their zebra blinds in most of their windows. So a zebra blind is cool because you can it can be a total blackout. It's kind of hard to see inside. Total blackout, or you can put it halfway and still bring in some natural light, but it gives you some more privacy in the trailer. Um, again, you're gonna have your wood box valences, all LED lights throughout the trailer. Cherokee tries to focus on putting outlets wherever they can in the coach. 110 and USB outlets in the sky. These are gonna be your uh, kind of hybrid between chairs and theater seating. So they do recline and have footrest built into it. Um, or I've seen a lot of people customize it as well too, depending on your camping style. These are free floating. If you wanna take them out, take one out, put a dog bed there, you can totally make this trailer your own. Up here, up, up, yeah, sorry. Up here in the middle is your AC unit. 
This year, Cherokee on all their trailers, they went to a 15,000 BTU air conditioning system versus a 13.5, 15,000 recycles the air about 50 times percent faster. So it's gonna give you a, a cooler trailer using less energy um, on those super hot days. Coming around to finish off the nice living area is gonna be your uh, full bench dinette. It's a very comfortable four person dinette. You have USB outlets on the wall there and little things like giving you the press membrane on your countertops here, on your tabletop, sorry. So if water does spill and try to get in, it's not gonna wreck your counter. And again, going back to storage, Cherokee doesn't skimp on that. Traditionally in old trailers, if you had a trailer before, you gotta lift these cushions up, try to get into that space. Cherokee wanted access to all of that. So they give you a full 44 inch drawer on this guy. It's massive. So tons of room. I've seen people get dividers from Ikea really maximize that storage space. And then all their finishes is an espresso wood with the lighter gold cam or, uh, handles on it. So a really nice modern finish. Quickly, I'll talk about the bathroom while we're up here. So in your bathroom here, you're gonna have nice size bathroom. I'm a bigger guy as well. I have tons of room to move around. You have some nice tile hooks here. In your black labels and all your Cherokees are gonna be standard, a max air fan. This is great for ventilation. On its highest setting, it's gonna suck out 900 cubic feet of air per minute throughout this trailer on a hot day. Turn it on, sucking out all the hot air, then you can turn your AC on. Or on a cooler day, just leave it on. It creates a nice airflow throughout the trailer. Corner radius glass shower, so it's not a curtain that'll get stuck to you or water's gonna splash out. You have that glass there containing it. Behind me here, Cherokee wanted to focus on Bigger sinks as well too. A lot of sinks are really tiny. You can't get your hands in there to wash, wash your face, get ready for bed, all that stuff. And then again, you're getting that press membrane countertop in here too, so you're not getting that tea mold. Tons of storage above and below on this floor plan. And while I'm touching on in-floor heating ducted throughout the coach here, so each room is gonna get, um, be temperature controlled from the furnace. I'll jump around here and do the control panel while I'm up here. So with the control panel, it's an LCI one control. So anything you can do on this panel, you can also sync it to your cell phone. So you can do your slide outs, your awning control. You just scan this barcode, it pulls it up. And some of your main lights as well. What's great about this, if you get to a tight campsite and you wanna be on the outside watching your slides go out, go out there with your phone, press your button, your slides are gonna go out. Or you're laying in bed, forgot the awning out at night, Press your button, the awning's gonna go in. Up front in the master bedroom here, it's your traditional walk around queen. This is an RV queen, so it's a little bit shorter. But you got tons of storage in this guy, both sides, mirror, outlets on both sides with USB ports, CPAP friendly. This is um, a Ferion speaker attachment, you can charge it, you can plug a speaker on there if you wanna buy it extra, but it does have the USB ports here as well too. And then you have your pleated shades in your bedroom for your privacy as well. And that wraps up the Cherokee 2021 274 WK Black Label. If you have any questions, please call us, text us, reach out to us. We're here for all your RV needs. Um, please inquire about our RV show promos coming up in our RV show, as well as if you like the video, please like, subscribe, leave us some feedback and happy camping. Just selling the trailer. Oh, yeah. wow. It was unbelievable. Oh, wow. Yes, it went amazing. Another happy customer. Another happy customer. I love it, buddy. Way yeah. to go.
So what are you making? So we're gonna do a little um, turn on s'mores. Cool. It's easy for the kids. Yeah. Which you have two little kids. I got two okay. little kids, right? So a lot safer, safer, not safer, safer for the kids. Instead of um, having the marshmallows over the campfire, they get to take their ice cream cones. We've got some waffle cones here. Put whatever you want inside of it, and then we just wrap it in some tin foil and throw it on the campfire. Seems pretty easy to me. Okay. You want to yeah. try it? Absolutely, I do. All right, so I got you two. Okay. Take whatever ingredients you want. Today, I've got some bananas, wow. some strawberries, some cranberries, some Reese's Pieces, of course, chocolate, oh. and marshmallows. Got some peanuts here and some coconut. And of course, at the end, if you want, sprinkles. You for know the you got to do it. I mean, if the beat's all right, I'll dance all night. Okay, buddy. All right, let's do it. Let's get going. Where do we take, start? Take whatever you want. Your cones are ready here. Okay. Let's put them in these fancy wine glasses so Absolutely. we can show our customers out there what now, we're working with. So I go, I wasn't supposed to wash my hands, was I? You didn't wash your hands? No. I'm just messing okay. with you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's get in there. Little peanuts. A couple strawberries, maybe? Yeah. A few more marshmallows. Right. Marshmallows and the chocolate is what keeps it all together, hey? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Maybe one banana on top of there. A little banana. So once you got your cone all mixed up with all your favorite ingredients, I just take it over here to our tin foil, like this little Mitch P at Rangeland RV. Okay. Should we take her out? Oh, I didn't pull her up there. I, I might be doing it wrong. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. You know me. You all right? Well, I didn't put chocolate. Oh. Am I supposed to? Get some chocolate. I know, right? It's not a s'mores without chocolate. I know. If my mom was here right now, she'd be like, don't. Get the chocolate? Yeah, it drives me, I gotta go crazy. One more piece? Yeah. She's okay. like, let's do Get two one more. one more piece. Right? Yeah. Double that up. Okay. Okay, you got that all wrapped up? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then what do I do on the top? Here. Okay. Let's wrap her up. Just like that, wow. guys. You can see our campfire over there ready to go. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw these two over there. Not direct flame, because you just want the chocolate kind of to melt. Okay. Leave those like that. Let's go make two more. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Now, don't forget the chocolate. No, I won't. I'm going to actually do it first. Okay, let's yeah. do this. Have you ever seen um, the movie The Sandlot? Yeah. Yeah, my favorite part was when they make the s'mores. Really? Yeah. No, I couldn't recite it. But. Have you ever played the game Funny Bunny? No. We don't have the right size marshmallows, but you need the big ones. Okay. Well, you can probably still do those. Mitch, you should try it. What do you want Every me to do? Every time you put a marshmallow in your mouth, you have to say funny bunny. If we have and enough, I'll game. do it. I'll do it. You, as, and the winner has the most marshmallows they can put in their mouth. Well, I think that we should end We should end by doing that. Okay. All right. Let's make these and then we'll get on to uh, funny bunny. Okay, let's do it. It's kind of like white rabbits, you know? Yeah. Man, I gotta add all this That's stuff too. That's at the too. campfire. Right? Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. Did you remember the chocolate this time? Yeah, I did. I was first thing I put in. Okay. Some marshmallows on top. Wrap okay. this guy up. I'm assuming like you could take the, the glass and you could have champagne with this too, right? For the adults? Well, yeah. Right? Of course. Let's get these on the fire. Turn that down a little bit. Put those guys in there to melt that. Okay. Good? I think so. Okay. Get and then that baby you on said there. not direct contact. Whoa, okay, there we go. Okay. All right, how many marshmallows do you think you can put in your mouth? Oh, I'll do, I'll, I mean, I'll keep going. Start with five. Let's start with let's, five. Let's start with five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I think okay. it took more. We five. have to do five at a time. Okay. Okay. Get another handful here. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Funny bunny. Funny bunny. Five more? Yeah. Funny bunny. Wole bole. <laughs> Five more? Yeah, let's do it. Funny bunny. Funny bunny. <laughs> Does anybody know the high mic just in case? <laughs> Don't choke. No, I'm not. ready? Funny bunny. That's 20. How are you doing, Mitch? <laughs> 15 funny bunny. 
Here we go. Oh, yeah. Funny, funny. <laughs> Keep going, Mick. Funny, funny. <laughs> One more. Funny, funny. <laughs> We're at 30 now. Mick? Let's take it up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> if the beat's all right, I'll dance all night. Here we go. <laughs> funny, funny. <laughs> well, I got a feeling these guys are going to be able to end, oops, end this session. <laughs> no, I keep going. These are Rainside RV's funniest bunnies. This is Cooking with Sluggo. Make sure you hit subscribe on that YouTube channel because Funny we're going to do uh, Cooking with Sluggo as a regular segment on the YouTube channel. And join us at our virtual RV show. We got Thursday the 28th to Sunday the 31st. Showing you all the best RVs in the industry today. Thank you very much for watching. Oh,